Kevin Brown. Morning, Kevin. Morning, Roy. Right? Every, everything's OK. You've not injured yourself. You've not fallen over playing with the kids or anything like that. <laughs> that being the case, you, you can definitely be on the bench or in the starting lineup. Yep, definitely. Um, I'm playing tomorrow, so all going well today. We've got one more session today and uh, get through that OK. I'm sure I will. It'll be fine. I'll be, I'll be blessing my boots up tomorrow. Right. Well, I'm typically on match day. I mean, what time will you get up at and what do you eat? Um, I just try and keep it as normal as possible, really. Just, um, obviously, I'll get up early anywhere with my son and um, just try and keep a normal day because you do that every day and it's a bit of an habit, so try and keep it keep it as similar as I possibly can. And they are, they are a team, they're, they're very unpredictable hull uh, and they're not a bad proposition at the moment. So what what areas has Dennis highlighted that needs to be taken care of on match day? Um, just, yeah, you've got to keep your eye on quite a few areas because they are a good side and, like you say, some, some weeks they really do turn it on. Yeah, got it. Is that, oh, you've got a funny noise going on in the background there. <laughs> yeah. Is that Dennis um, saying get down the training ground? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to say they do turn it on some days, but one of the main the main weapons is uh, Daniel Oldsworth. He's a, he's a really good player and we'll have to keep an eye on him. Um, but yeah, they've got internationals all over. The, the wingers are a real good player. Tom Briscoe, he's, he's looking like he's going to go to Australia next year and play in the NRL, so we'll have to... Obviously, keep our eye on him as well. Mm. But obviously, you're coming back. This is your first competitive game for some time. I mean, uh, uh, is Dennis saying take it easy? He's not asking you to go hell for leather on the first game back, is he? No, he's, he, I'm fit, you know. So I've, I'll, I'll do it. I'll try it, go as hard as I can. Um, I think the, the the thing that you want to try and stay away from when you've, you've been out for a while and there's a bit of pressure and you want to perform is trying to overplay a bit and trying a little bit too hard, but. You know, I'll be I'll be going as hard as I do in, in all my other games and um uh, just doing my job really, not trying to not trying to fall into that trap of overplaying and trying to do too much. Yeah. Now, of course it'd be a great thing to get a good a good attendance down there at the Stobart, plenty of people watching. And I know it sounds it's one of those questions that's probably been asked many, many times and it might be a bit cliched. How much of a difference does a loud vocal crowd make to a player's performance? It really does. I, I was blown away when I when I first went and watched the um, my first game the last year was the last game at Warrington and the crowd were great then. Mm. Um, but I went there this year against St. Helens and it was absolutely unreal. The lads were all talking about how, how good the crowd were and how you know how, how good the atmosphere was. Yeah, so it's going to lift them. It's a proper rugby stadium, isn't it? They're on top here and they're, they're a really loud bunch. So it does. It really does lift them. So hopefully to, tomorrow we we get that again and. You know, we can we can get a good performance in for the for the fans as well. Well, we wish you all the best with it, Kevin, and good luck. And hopefully, you'll be able to slot a few over the try line and stuff like that, and uh, we'll come up with a decent result tomorrow. Thank you very much. All right, Thank thanks, you. Kevin. Kevin Brown making his debut. If you're a witness Vikings fan, you need to be at the Stobart tomorrow. It is on Sky, so let's make sure that all the seats are filled.